They look uniform, they are not. Israel's ultra-Orthodox or Haredi communities, not just a swath of black hats or swarm of children, but a sector of more than a million Israelis with their own divisions and arguments that shape Israel's politics, as they are doing this week, with continued talk of a potential split within the United Torah Judaism Coalition. The argument centers around education. For decades, Haredi schools have taught little secular education. Now, the head of the large Bell's Hasidic sect wants to change that for his followers, entering into a deal with the education ministry to get more funding for Bell's schools in exchange for upping secular content. That has led to a potential break with others in the Haredi world, between the Bell's Hasidic sect on one hand and what's known as the so-called Lithuanian segment of ultra-Orthodoxy on the other. A break that itself is part of a story that goes back to 18th century Eastern Europe. The rift between the more mystical spiritual Hasidic groups and the more rational intellectual so-called Lithuanians. At any rate, the impact could spill over into Israeli politics writ large. The Lithuanian politicians are threatening to run as a separate list in the November 1st elections, which would split the long-standing United Tour Judaism list in two, which also splits the vote meaning either or both factions could fail to get the 3.25% of the total vote that they would need to make it into the next parliament. Were that to happen, it could waste votes, hurt the overall right-wing bloc, and even decide the election. Ultra-Orthodox politicians have been key partners of opposition leader Benjamin Netanyahu. He needs them back in parliament, and so is working hard to prevent the split. Even if this is a real fissure.